The electron configuration of sodium is pretty straightforward. If you find sodium on the periodic table, it is here in the third row and first column. But I want you thinking about the periodic table, at least in terms of electron configuration, this way. Because this shows you the order in which the orbitals are filled. You'll notice 1s comes first, you can fit two electrons inside of an s subshell. Then 2s, then 2p, you can fit six inside of a p. Then 3s, 3p, 4s, back to 3d. Some teachers are gonna show you a method of filling that looks similar to this. It kinda looks like a staircase. This goes into 5g, but no one ever gets there. And then you draw diagonal lines. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. I don't like that. I like just knowing this and creating my electron configuration off of this. So, sodium is here at the beginning of the 3s. It is the first element in the 3s block, as I would teach people. And so, we're gonna follow this periodic table through to create the electron configuration. We'll start at the beginning, 1s2. We write 1s, and it's kind of like squared, but it's a superscript to show that there's two electrons in there. Next, we have 2s, and we fill that with two electrons. 2p, and we fill all six of those electrons in there. 3s is where we eventually stop. Na is the first element in this 3s block. So to get to Na, or sodium, we only need a single electron. Now you'll notice that 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 1 is 11 electrons, because sodium is the 11th element, and so it's neutral atom needs 11 electrons. This is the full electron configuration for sodium. Done. Some teachers are going to want you to use shorthand. Please note that the noble gas ahead of sodium is neon, so you can cut off 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, which takes you all the way up to the noble gas neon, replace it with Ne in square brackets, and then simply continue and write 3s1. Now your teacher may have asked you for Na with a plus one charge. If you are asked for the sodium ion, you have to remove one electron. It might be a little weird that a plus charge is removing an electron, but electrons are negatively charged, so when you lose a negative, it becomes plus, right? Yes. And your job when you have an ion a positive ion specifically, is to remove that many electrons from the full electron configuration. We're going to have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, but we are going to remove this one 3s electron. You can write 3s0 here to emphasize that there are now no electrons there, but you don't have to, it is optional. What you're not allowed to do is simply take the 3s1 off of the simplest noble gas configuration. You're supposed to go back to the previous noble gas configuration. And if this 3s doesn't even exist, then you can't just shorten the whole thing to any in square brackets. You have to go back all the way to he and then mention that there's a 2s2 and a 2p6. Cool. So what I've done in pink here is for the Na plus ion. What I've done in blue here is for the sodium atom uncharged. Sodium doesn't like having a different charge other than plus one, so I really doubt you've been asked anything other than one of these two. Hey, best of luck.